Well, hey again, everybody. I'm Christian Garman from the University of West Florida's Innovation Institute. With me, Dr. John Bratton, Chair and Professor from the Department of Anthropology. Dr. Bratton, every single time I talk to you, I think that guy has got it figured out. So we're about to get on another boat and go see some cool stuff. Where are we headed? We're going to go uh, to two places today. The first place we're going to go, we call it Emmanuel Point 2. So it's a 16th, 16th century shipwreck from the fleet of Don Christie. And we're going to be collecting some wood samples for a lot of really neat uh, analyses. I am with Dr. John Braden, also Professor Nigel Nailing. Professor Nailing, I mean, you you have flown over. Uh, where are you from? I'm from uh, uh, from Wales, okay. uh, from the University of Wales, and I travel around the world looking for particular early Iberian ships to try and understand timber and timber supply, where they're making choices, what sort of wood are they using, and it's incredibly rare to have an opportunity like this. Maybe we can take a chunk out of that. That's probably that's 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 straight that's down, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I would take a chunk out of that. And So we can make that all sort of oh, the scale okay. check. Yeah. That goes with that. That's all one that's all one plank. Okay. But what's happened is this this is split where the middle of the tree is. So we've got the middle of the parent tree is right here. And then we've got some of the rings going that way, some of the rings going. Keep safe, Deej. They told me they could swim. Alright. Enjoy. Pleasure, sir. Cheers. just started cleaning this but the center of the tree is here. Oh, wow. So I've got all of the growth rings that I could at this point in the tree, the middle of the tree, right out to the bottom. Is it faster? It's a bit faster in the middle. I mean, this takes a little bit of practice. I wouldn't do this at home <laughs> because you're going to slice the ends of your fingers off. But essentially what I'm doing is just cleaning that so that I can see each of the annual rings quite clearly. It takes about 30 years of practice and then you get good at it. Um, and it's okay for these very wide rings, but once you get into this very narrow stuff, yeah. it's got to be super clean. 